All right, I'm out here at Derrick Street here in Huntsville, Alabama. It appears there's actually been a slight change. It's actually been a change here because it looks like this signal on the right here was knocked down and replaced at some point recently. They gave the old base a safe tram, but the current base on the signal is a Cermi base with a lot of dirt on one side. Now, it looks to be a rather new concrete foundation. And looking over there at the other signal, which hasn't changed, the concrete foundation is noticeably older. Which is why I think it may have been replaced. We got that Cermi base. Then we've got an older safe tram gate mechanism right here. As you can see, this is the style that they used in the 1980s, on the 1980s, maybe early 1990s signals. It's actually mounted higher than the previous gate mechanism was, I think. Definitely was mounted higher than the previous gate mechanism on this on the, what signal this used to be. And uh, then, uh, of course, we've got the emergency information right there, where you can see the dot number 73181OK. And then uh, we got the lights, which are all incandescent still. But they are a mixture of one older Hawker Siddeley uh, night, no, nah, safe train 12 inch, 12 by 20 inch light on uh, that's uh, right there. That's from the original, probably 1990 signal. It's probably salvaged and reused. And we've got, and then the rest of the lights are newer safe train 12 by 20 inch lights. Though one of them has some dirt on the back of it, as you can see right there. It's on a safe train junction box. The bell, fortunately, is still a Safetran mechanical bell. So I think they probably reused the old one. Or it might be one from a different signal. All I know is that it's a bit rusty looking. I think it might be a reused. They might have just reused the old one. It's probably still operational or something. But I don't know where it came from. Who knows, maybe that was actually the bell from Pratt Avenue. And then we've got the gate arm, which is the new one with both aluminum and fiberglass. all aluminum except for the tip up there, which is fiberglass. It's got the newer striping on it, and it has Rico gate lights that I believe are LED. I don't know, I'd have to catch a train here to see, and I got, I'm got. i going to be heading on home soon, so I don't think I'll wait around for a train here to look at the back of the signal. Like I said, the other signal at this crossing on the far side there has not changed at all. And uh, right over there is the slightly dented relay case. If I can get this thing to focus. Yeah, you can kind of see the slightly dented relay case there. And of course, this is on the Norfolk Star Memphis District East End. That way is looking west towards Sheffield, Alabama through... Uh, Decatur that way is looking east towards uh, what's that towards Chattanooga Tennessee uh, through uh, Stevenson Alabama so yeah one of the signals here at this crossing appears to have been knocked down and replaced at some point in the hang on I need to go to the rear here oh yeah it's blank huh. I don't think the old one have definitely had safe train or not so yeah it's most likely a new base Oh, I'm hearing a train coming. Over and...